All right, so for the water diorama, this is what I've got done so far. So as you can see, I set the ship in there just to see how it looks. Still got a lot of work to do on it yet, but this is what I've got done so far. As you can see, I got a wave in the front and the waves along the side of the ship. So, so far I think it's coming along pretty good. This is my first one, kind of an experiment. Um, so what I've used, I'll just pull this back a little bit so you can kind of see here, but what I used to uh, do this is, um, as you can see here, this piece here, this is just a picture frame that I bought at my local uh, um, thrift store. Uh, it cost me, I think, 20 cents for the picture frame. And then I went and bought some of this stuff here. So with this, I put the base in there, cut the the uh, ship out, or the, the hole out for the ship, and uh, got that done, put that in there, and then what I did after that was I took some of this here stuff, Dry-X spackling, goes on pink, and when it dries, it turns white. Um, so I used that, and with that, um, I was able to make these waves along here, 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 and on the other side, and here. So I kind of bunched up for that. Um, so then, after that was done and dried, I took, went to my uh, local dollar store, and I just bought some of this decor art. Um, navy blue craft paint so I used that paint to paint the blue and then once that was done um, everybody knows about this stuff here Mod Podge Mod Podge I should say um, gloss luster I used that stuff and I painted the whole thing and so that's how I've got this effect so far so now I think my next step is to um, work in along here and fill in these holes here this gap here I'm going to um, I think use this stuff here um, clear silicone so this uh, uh, also goes on white and uh, and then it dries clear so what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to um, squeeze it just along here and kind of up around where I think the, the front waves would go and then along here to kind of fill it all in and uh, let that dry and then I can um, come along after that using this stuff here again and some paper towel and uh, kind of take the paper towel and uh, kind of rip it up, up like this here in little chunks. And then what I do is take the little chunks with that, I think, and I'll just kind of roll it and I'll lay it on here like this. And then with the Mod Podge, you uh, dab it on with a brush and it'll kind of take form like you want. And uh, that'll kind of give the, the wave I think that's what's gonna happen and then after that I will come along with some white no, I don't have any here right now but uh, some white craft paint I'll dry brush the white highlights on top of the waves and along everywhere else where I kind of want it to be a little bit wavy and uh, get that and then uh, of course in and around the ship and get the wash at the back of the ship or the stern I should say of the ship as well so that's what I'm gonna to attempt to do right now so just want to do a quick little update just to show you where I'm at so far with the ship um, as you can see uh, with the ship I now have uh, uh, get a better view over here but um, so with the ship I now have I have the flag on the ensign I should say um, I have 
Uh, if you can, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but down here is the word snowberry, and I've got the uh, death markers on here. Um, the hull number, there's one here on the back and on the other side, and then you can see right in here on the forward gun, I have the uh, duck on the front there. So that is all the uh, decals that I had to put on. Um, I do have the railings that I put in along the side here and along here, and whoops, up in here and here. Um, let me see if I can get a good move the video so you can kind of see that there. Maybe I'll move it up a little bit closer. Okay, so you can see, oops, sorry about that. Um, you can see right along here is all the lines that I put in. Um, so what I use for the lines is just uh, some of this stuff that a friend of mine gave me. I'm not sure where he got it, but um, so that's this here, really thin line like this. As you can see, it is very stretchable. So that's what I used for the lines. Um, the, the stuff that came with the ship, I think I've shown it on a previous video before, but this is what came with the ship. Um, I didn't like it. I tried putting it on and it just didn't look right at all. So I think with, uh, with this here, it's, it's gonna look a lot better. Anyway, that's just a quick little update where I'm at right now. And uh, just uh, look for some further um, videos on my diorama. Talk to you later.